musical adaptation of Little Women, which is a novel by Louisa May Alcott about the life and times of uh, four sisters growing up, maturing, and uh, changing. I'm Meg. I'm the oldest and uh, apparently most beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I play Beth March. She is the second youngest, and she is a musician. And I play Amy March, who is the youngest and an all-around brat. I'm also an artist. <laughs> mostly a brat. But mostly, yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Meg's the oldest, Joe's definitely the leader. She's very bossy. No matter what happens, we must plan that we will always be Four March sisters, forever. FOREVER! I'm Lori. Theodore Lawrence III, but everyone does call me Lori. I play Professor Bear. Well, I'm Mr. Brooke. Lori's tutor, and I feel I'm more of the romantic dude. Yeah. Interesting that every March sister has a corresponding guy. Bill, Meg, Amy, slash Joe, mainly Amy at the end of it. Went for Joe initially. It's a lot of deep themes, and I feel like some of the things that the characters go through, we can all at least slightly relate to or understand on a fundamentally deep level. The most obvious theme would be family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sisterhood. Sisterhood, but um, also found family. There's a massive theme of gender and gender disparity throughout the entire show, which is handled quite well. One thing I've noticed is that the musical has done a really good job of maintaining the sort of three-dimensional feminism, because there's these different little women, and they're all being a different way a woman can be, and it is okay. Child, child, the girl that's really to me. She really fit into my dress is ragged, and my nose is flat. So oh, I hate being a governess. I should be meeting eligible young men. It's also really fun to play such well-known and like long-explored characters because yeah. this is not a new story mm -hmm. by any means. It's been revisited mm -hmm. multiple times and mm -hmm. it's really fun because we get to see how we want to put our own spins on the characters and like see what our renditions of the mm -hmm. sisters are compared to others. The musical, un unlike some of the movies, has less of the events that actually occur in the book because in a musical you simply do not have time for it. <laughs> the biggest constraint of stories that have such a large cast and are set on stages, you got a time limit, there's only so much you can give, there's only so much you can do for each of them. But it is really interesting how the depth of character is um, portrayed and like really the characterizations are true throughout the mu musical and developed throughout the musical in a way that is very hard to do in that format but mm -hmm. the songs and the scenes that they chose to combine or that they chose to include are really telling about what are the most influential parts of the girls' lives. Mm. And you also don't have access to a lot of the techniques of film that can give more in shorter periods of time for characters. Musical can be considered sort of more fixed in terms of perspective and interpretation of how the story goes, because we try to represent how everything works throughout the story through through visual perspectives and audible perspective, perspectives uh, through the music and what we're putting on stage. In like some past shows, maybe we, especially if we're doing musicals, we usually don't have a lot of time, but with this one I feel like we have a lot of time and I feel like we're going at a really, really like nice pace. So there's more parts, it's definitely an opportunity for a lot of people to learn. Uh, I am learning to harmonize slowly, <laughs> but it's happening. So I think lots of people are learning new things. 
Mm -hmm. I think the music itself is really beautiful and well done. I personally think that the people here who do the songs are fantastic because we have a great cast of people. Thank you.